Hello everyone, all who are in the body of Christ. I say welcome to the show to come together. Today I'm meditating upon, train your imagination to work according to his plan for your life. Before we start, to use talks about this topic, Luke chapter 17, verse 6. And the Lord said, If you had faith like a grain of mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, Be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Now let's see what we can learn from the verse we just read. We have inherited the great and most beneficial trait from our character, creator. A trait of imagination. We think, we imagine, we create, and all that we create becomes a reality of ours and other people's lives, and that reality brings glory to his name. Just look at the creation of this universe, and by looking at it, I always say it is beyond our imagination. Have you wondered why? Based on my limited knowledge and understanding, it is because of the force which has created all this. Also created us, we are the reality of of his imagination we cannot imagine the way he imagined at the time he created everything he created everything so timely precisely and wisely as we inherited this trait from him we must expand our imagination and take it to the one who knows our reality and ask him to help us imagine the things so we can continue to the process of our creation and our imagination becomes the reality of many which can give glory to his name this message also gives a promise for today. The promise is, And say to Archippus, Take head to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. Let's close time and pray together. Please join me in this prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, mighty wonderful God, Lord, bless me with the best thoughts to benefit others, making a positive impact in their lives, to your mercies and glory to all which you have given me. Bless it us with wisdom so we can train our imagination to work according to your plan and for our lives. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Have a blessed day, one of God's, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.